So unfortunate. We said we talked about some good news and then talked about We some did. Bad news. We should have just ended. Let's end up. <laughs> let, let's switch it around. Next time, let's just end on the good note and then come back on Friday and talk about more garbage. Let's do that. Right. All right. So, the side eye is the segment where somebody's ever said something to you and you give them the side eye, like, you know, that don't make no sense. Oh, my goodness. And this is one for me that I posted on Facebook that was big side eye. It so, was. let me get. And it's interesting. This is going to be a dual conversation. Because I'm really tired of people manipulating things in a certain way and just jumping past the conversation. So there was a post put on Facebook um, by barbwire.com, which is like this Southern Baptist kind of generated website. Yes. And it happened to have a little boy that was at a pride parade. He had no shirt on, a boa. His hair was kind of like mohawk, flipped to the side, multicolored. No big deal. He was like about nine or ten years old. Mm -hmm. But the problem was in this video... All these adults are standing around him, and he's twerking. Yes. Twerking, doing splits on the floor. Yes. I mean, just the kind of behavior I don't want to see any child. Any that child. could be the same video coming from World Star, and I'd have the same problem yes, with it. Yes, absolutely. I'm like, children are not meant to behave that way in public. No. And mm -hmm. the adults were just, like, egging him on. So it happened to be at a pride par uh, parade. Right. So I posted, I don't like to see children behave like this. I don't care, care what it is. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. immediately failed to read that. And one to jump on about gay bashing, like, oh, you're gay bashing. I said, and it's interesting because most people responded in the post and said, I don't want to see a child do that either. It's exactly. got nothing to do where they are. It could be in their backyard barbecue and it's just right. inappropriate it's behavior. Inappropriate behavior. It doesn't matter where they're at and who they're with. Someone that young should not be behaving like that. No. And yet people kept wanting to pull it in as if people commenting were gay bashing and it got a little heated. It did. It yeah. got real heated. Someone's like, you need to go back and read the post. That's not what it said. It said the child's behavior was inappropriate and nobody wants to see that. Correct. For whatever reason it is, whenever you bring up something that pertains to the LBGTQ, mm -hmm. people immediately go on the defense about it. Right. Um, even if it's wrong behavior, they Look, feel for some reason that they are above reproach. Well, because here's the thing. Your, your lifestyle does not mean that you can't have inappropriate behavior. I get that you want to be accepted with your lifestyle. And I know you get ridiculed and judged by that, but you can still be gay and have inappropriate behavior. Absolutely. It doesn't mean that Abs you do everything correctly and no one can call you out on it. But that's where we've gotten to. For some reason, you're people not feel untouchable. That if you that, but that's where people you behave. Are not as, people behave as if you comment on something that has that, that community is above reproach. And I'm like, oh no, it's not. No. Wrong is wrong. R exactly. And I would have that same issue if it was on World Star, a, sure. a backyard barbecue. That's one of the reasons I never liked the Bob Billiken parade. Right. Because I didn't like the jungle boogie <laughs> that was going on. Seriously, when the camera, you know, there was always a staging area. There was, and this was live broadcast around the country. And there'd be that staging area that they would show everybody coming through. And every time, they would get the jungle boogie on. And it would make me mad. It would make me mad. I said, I don't want to see that. Stand there and play an instrument. Twirl, twirl a baton. But don't get down on the ground and start just Twer yeah, twerking. And yes, and yes, I, I yes, never yes, liked yes. that. I think it's inappropriate. It is. It's very inappropriate. I mean, you know, if you want to dance, do is. some do some like ethnic African dance, something that, that don't it's quite fine. look like that. The gyrations for small children. Uh, it, it, it just it's, really bothers it's, me. It's, it's very And then people went as far as to try to make it seem like it was okay by saying, well, how is this different than a beauty pageant? Okay. It's very... Okay. I was like... Why, do you, why does everybody have to compare... Who said, what if I don't think beauty pageants are okay? Here's my thing. Why does everything have to be... Just take this wrong and make it wrong. We don't have to compare it. That's, you can always compare something and make it worse right. or better, but that's not the issue. But that's... Because that's always a poor defense to me when people that do that. That is a terrible... Now, I will say this about, you know, beauty pageants for little girls. I don't have a problem with them. I do hate the fact how they make, make them so up like much that. Makeup. I don't particularly care for that. I think that's too much. But they wear the teeth. And yes, hair it's way and too much. And but eyelashes. the purpose behind initial beauty pageants were to show poise and grace and distribute talent. Mm -hmm. If they got up there and pulled that routine, clearly they'd be kicked off stage. Yes, it's inappropriate. I just think they take those little girls and dial them up too much. Yeah, that are. I would agree with. Mm -hmm. But it's not to that extent. It's not disrespectful in that way. That little and, and 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 he was surrounded by all adults. He was, and I was just like, and they were like, like egging it on. And I was just like, this is so inappropriate. Does I mean I don't know. Does a child even have a place at that at a parade like that? I mean I don't know. Do you and you dress him up in a boa? I mean it's not like you just brought a little boy to a parade and he's just 
you know, there watching. You know, I'm a, he what, was I naked. Gathered, what I gathered. What I gathered. He, he, was, no, he was pretty he, close. He, he had a pair of shorts on. He had a pair of shorts on. They were tight. Yeah, it was. He was pretty close to naked, and I find that a bit disturbing. That too. is, see, that's right. not I find right. that a little disturbing. That's not too. right. Um, I'm, I'm going to make the assumption based on the the video and the picture, which is posted on my Facebook page. Go to the Maya Cat Show. That I'm assuming the way he's projecting himself is that he's already identified with the fact that he's homosexual, even mm-hmm. at this young age. I'm going to make that assumption based on what the video showed me, because okay. I don't think a little straight boy would probably do that. Am I wrong? I- I don't he, think so. I don't know. I just don't. Can you see your son? No. Okay. No. So, and I'm not saying that's good or bad. I have no problem. If that's who he is, that's who he is. But this is, to me, the pride parade is always, it's an adult thing. That's what I said. Is that but even an same, appropriate place for Because Because then again, so, I don't know. I'm like, is it? Well, because it's not like a regular Thanksgiving Day Macy's with the, you know, balloons and the, it, it's naked people. Most of the time, they're, they're not fully dressed and they're... It, it's a lot of things going on that I don't think that children should really be exposed to. Do you, you understand what no, I mean? No, I agree with that. Um, yes and no. I agree. I mean, if it was probably a bit more not as there can be it's, components that can be a little like, not appropriate I'm, for children to right. me. Um, but I suppose if you're going to immerse them in that lifestyle, then you're going to immerse them in that lifestyle. And understand, there are some people who happen to be homosexual that have issues with the pride parade. Mm-hmm. They don't care for the way that it displays their culture. Sure. They feel it's a misreputation. It's the extreme end of what they're trying to fight away for those stereotypes. Right. So you have some people I know that like, I hate that. I feel it just misrepresents who we are. Because I, I was just, that now it's going to lead me to my second question. I'm like, even if at this young age and he realizes that he's homosexual, which is fine. Does that necessarily mean you have to act like that? I'm under the impression that he is being, understand children model what they see. They, that you, uh, we adults are. I know homosexual mm, men that don't do that. No, no, no. I'm saying we adults are where they get their direction from. I'm going to assume that who is ever his parent facilitates and believes that this is okay. They're allowing him to express himself. But what, but what if he doesn't want to express himself that way? What if he wants to be. Question. You saw that video. I, I know. Did you think he didn't want to express himself that way? But he, Dude, he got his Beyonce. But, my, my, I'm, but I'm asking, was Drop that a learned side, behavior? It, 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 it. <laughs> I'm asking, is that a learned behavior? Absolutely. Was he taught that? Or Absolutely. He saw because, someone do it. Exactly. So my thing is, if you realize that he's homosexual, why don't you just let him be homosexual that he wants to be? Because it could be, if it wasn't a learned behavior, that he can just be homosexual and not act that way. You, you understand? I, if... This has turned into a full-fledged argument on Facebook, seriously. I mean, people Good. just – here's the thing. Here's the argument that has unfolded in this, and I, I would encourage people to go to my page. I'm, I'm going right now. And read the comments. Most people just felt like it was exploitation of a young child. That's what I think. That, and they were like, I That's don't care what, what setting it is. I never want to see a child behave like that. And he was half naked. It made he me uncomfortable. It just, yes. Only babies should run around like that. And uh, when you get to be a certain age, it, you need to have a shirt you on your You need man. to have a shirt on. Serious, unless yes. you're outside cutting the grass. <laughs> but I'm serious. So a lot of people just were uncomfortable with the imagery of a young boy. Sure. Behaving that way, half-clothed, around a bunch of adults. You know, people, it just I makes agree. people nervous. It just, it just does. Nobody had any issue with anything about the LBG community. That, that conver- it was like, oh, I don't like that either. I don't like to see kids behave like that, whether it's like a barbecue, whatever. Immediately, people who are supporters of the LGB community felt it was an assault on that community. Right. It's like no one's questioning where he was at. It was what he was doing. Right. It was the action itself that was the issues. And, and people said, I feel the same way if the young girl was, you know, shaking her butt on something. Yes. Um, I just don't want to see that. Uh, people, you know, and then there were a couple people who you could tell based on their responses aren't real fond of homosexuality. Mm-hmm. You could tell based on their responses. But mm-hmm. most people just said no child should, should behave be like that e- exploited it's that. In, it's inappropriate yes it's okay. really inappropriate and then other people try to say look if this was um a girl doing this on youtube no one would have issues with it if a small child would. was around a, a bunch of m- males and twerking like that you don't think anybody would have an issue with I, that? I think everybody would um you know that, and then, that would be so inappropriate and then people went as far you know to say oh this is just such propaganda because it came from a you know, a Christian website. It's not, look, it happened. It happened. It's not propaganda. It's only propaganda if I make it up. <laughs> right. This is, this was out like there. It happened. The, pro- the part of the problem with this is some adult took out their camera phone and recorded the video mm-hmm. and then, and then it got posted. Right. So I'm sorry. That's not propaganda. It is not. You it gave the fuel to the fire. 
Uh, yes. And I think it's interesting that people are trying to tear this argument apart and get away from the essence of it all. We, I hate semantics. Semantics will get you away from the crux of what's really going on just with the semantics of words and, and this. That's The issue is not it was at a pride parade or LBGT or it, the issue is that's an inappropriate behavior for a small child to be doing, period. Right. And that's the issue. Let's not do semantics of where it was and where it came from and that kind of thing. Let's just talk about is that appropriate for a small child to behave that way in an adult setting. And one of the posts were, thou shalt not judge and love thy neighbor. Guess it's safe to pick and choose how others sin. Being gay isn't a choice. Being a prosecuting prick is. Okay, first of all, no one's judging the LBG community. We're talking about the poor behavior of a child. And it doesn't matter. Like I said, it could be a backyard barbecue. That video could have been the same. Th- it could have been the same thing at a backyard barbecue, and I'd have the same issue with it. Wait a minute. And I think you just judged calling somebody a prick. I think you just judged right. yourself. Like a pop on the black. Right. I love. What's your thoughts on this? Seven zero eight two two three zero zero three zero. Or just type, your phone, you have, give us a call, tell us you what you think work, about it. If you have just send us a secret message and we'll yes, say we it. always put with the Facebook <laughs> posts are clearly there. <laughs> yes. you know, and then there were some people, honestly, that, you know, kind of were on the fence about it and felt it was inappropriate. Most people said, kind of went with you, they're like, I'm not sure how I feel about parading a child around a lot of grown-ups like that. Right. You know, I just don't know how I feel. Right. I mean, and I still have mixed emotions how I feel about kids going to a pride parade. I don't know how I feel about that yet. Um I do know there's some elements of it that are not I think there's some elements of it that I to would to me. I think there's some that are sometimes I'm like, whoa, and I'm an adult. So I think there are elements to it that I don't think are appropriate for children. You know, and, and Angela Leary Spain made a good point. And this is where I think a lot of people are starting to feel this. This is further proof that homosexuality is a movement. It's not about equality. But it's about the normalization of sexual perversion. Now, it did say that in the article, and I think when people read the article, which I, I glanced at, I, mm-hmm. I was more entangled in the, the video. video. I was like, what the, what's this little boy doing? Mm-hmm. You know, I just was, the video just disgusted me. I actually, to be honest, didn't even really read the article. I didn't either. I skimmed it, because uh, I went right to the video. Yes. I was like, what, what's this, you know, buffoonery going on here with this child half naked around all these grown yes. adults? Yes. You know, I was like, it was nuts. You know, and it, and it was a Christian-based Sure. Website that posts the article. So of course, it's a little biased. They're gonna. Be, it's gonna be biased. Sure. But what is in, the, in this world isn't biased. I can't like, think so of one thing. You can't get away from the essence of it. That it's about this is inappropriate behavior for a child. Sure. And then people went on to say things like, if this was like a young black girl twerking, that's wrong too, folks. That is so you know what wrong. I'm saying? Yes. I, to me, wrong is wrong. It's the semantics of it's wrong. And stop comparing. Let's just talk about this particular video and don't try to compare it to anything to make it better or worse. It's the same thing. It's inappropriate, and let's just talk about this. Can we talk about one thing and stop bringing other things in on top of it to make it better or worse? Because it's a poor defense. It is I a mean, terrible defense. And my initial post was, this disgusts me. Mm-hmm. I hate to see any child doing this. You did this. say any child, yes. <laughs> it doesn't matter where they're at, what they're doing. It doesn't matter how people can just take arguments and just actually and expand them, them in a way that just don't make any sense. Right. Because it's to support their, your argument. And so then you're going to twist it and make and it. And then support, the more just... I read it, I said, I'll just talk about this tomorrow on the show. Yeah. And the more that I read it, the more annoyed I got because then I felt like they were pulling away from the essence of the conversation of about course. the child and trying to make it about the LGBT. I'm like, I'm not talking about them. <laughs> when I'm talking about them, you'll know. Right. But this is not about them. It's about the child. Right. And the child's inappropriate behavior. Mm -hmm. But like I said, it's this attitude that if anybody criticizes anything with that community, they're above reproach. I'm sorry. If you want to be part of the in crowd, you're going to be criticized. It comes with criticism. It comes with criticism. If you think for whatever reason that people are going to accept you and not bash or have issues or problems, then you're you're in an alternate universe. You really are. And all, and also, you're trying to get people to come on board with a lifestyle that people don't agree with in the first place. And that, so it's kind of like people mm-hmm. are going to look for things like this to kind of like this Christian-based... Right. Um, Bar- barbed wire. Yes. Mm-hmm. They're going to look and be like, see, I told you. So they're kind of already looking for something. The people who don't really want to accept you and, and think it's a bizarre lifestyle, they're already <laughs> looking for something. So you're just, you're just in it. All the time about this situation. I said, look, you can't force people 
to be okay with homosexuality if they're not okay with you it. You can't. I said, whatever their reason is, whether it's religious-based, whether they just feel like it's just not natural, that's their business. Mm-hmm. They don't have to accept it. Just like I always say, if people don't like black people, I don't care. Yeah. That's your choice. Mm-hmm. Whatever your rationale is behind it is your business. Mm-hmm. But here's what's imperative that people need to understand. What you don't have a right to do is impede someone's yeah, but, happiness, uh, it, cause them exactly. harm. Exactly. You don't have a right to do that. No. That's, that's not no. your place to judge someone that way. No. That's between them and the maker. Right. So you have no right to impede on that. That's why I was like, I don't know why we're still fighting about gay rights. It's not the Constitution. They can't have it. Give it and let's not waste the money and move and, on. And move on.